Hey everyone, Carmine Sabia here for Explain America. And Pete Buttigieg, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam. Well, he's got himself in a lot of a jam, actually, when you think about it. Not only did he take but just about more than two weeks to go visit the town of East Palestine, Ohio. Not only did he go the day after Donald Trump went, but then he had trash to talk about Donald Trump when he got there. And what he said was he tried to blame the disaster on a, on a minuscule rule that was rolled back during the Trump administration, a minuscule regulation about, about a certain type of brake for a certain type of train. And so Buttigieg and Biden and all your liberal politicians and all your liberal, you know, CNN and MSNBC hosts, they're trying to blame this rule. This rule is the reason that the train derailed. Now, of course, it's nonsense, and we know it's nonsense. How do we know it's nonsense? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the National Transportation Safety Board chairwoman, Jennifer Homendy, actually said this is not about politics. She was getting tired with the political talk. Who's blaming it on Trump? Who's blaming it on Biden? She said the wheel bearing failed on car number 23. So even with ECP brakes, the derailment would have occurred. Enough with the politics, she said. Enough with the politics. I don't understand why this has gotten so political. That's her exact quote. And she talked about that there's a town suffering. There are people suffering that need assistance. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to tell your liberal friends this. Because, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard them. I'm sure you have heard your liberal Democrat friends say, say this train derailment was Trump's fault. You know, I think we've gotten to a point in this country where we always have to point the finger and blame somebody for something. The train derailed. And it's Norfolk Southern's fault. It's the fault of the train company. It's not Joe Biden's fault. It's not Donald Trump's fault. It's not even Pete Buttigieg's fault. It's that company's fault. It's their fault the train derailed. Now, the lack of quick action, that's Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg's fault. The fact that they didn't rush over there like they would if maybe it was a Democrat area, but instead it was a bunch of Republicans, that's Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg's fault but not the actual train derailment, and it's also not Trump's fault. So, you know, that's that's the thing. And, and the media, if you just watch the media, they're not going to inform you of this. That's why we're here every night. That's why we do this. So I want you guys to know that this is not Trump's fault. It had nothing to do with the brakes, not a thing to do with the brakes, and that is coming from the chair of the National Transportation Safety Board. So don't be, don't be fooled by what these people are trying to do to you. And I also ask, of course, as always and ever, that you like and you comment on this video. Let us know what you're thinking. I also ask that you subscribe and I ask that you follow us at Explain America on Facebook. But on a, on a video like this in particular, I really ask that you share it. People need to see this. Your liberal friends and family members, they need to know the truth about what happened. They can Google it themselves. I gave you the exact quote. They can look it up. Uh, they can go Google it themselves and they'll find out that what I'm saying is 100% accurate and true. And then you can end their argument because they'll have none anymore. There still is no excuse for why Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg sat on their hands so long while this town suffered. Thank you guys for watching tonight. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. And this is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.